So it goes to infer that we all have a responsibility for Ghana. And as to how we make it is dependent on all of us. Most wise program master, leaders of delegation, most wise folk past grandmasters, brethren all, invited ladies and then gentlemen. Today has been a wonderful day. It's been a day from the temple to here in celebration of my 25 years as a Santini and 25 years as a Mason. <clears throat> Since February, there's been celebrations all through here. We've done that. But today's celebration has been one that has put me on the level with my brothers. And it gladdens my heart to see my fellow brothers that I haven't seen for some time. Those who were not privileged to be in the celebration for me to meet them tonight. And I thank you all very much for honoring the invitation of Grand Lord to be here. Today at the temple, I said that I have two wishes. The major one is to see that Grand Lodge grows so that, and I think I have it here, I said looking forward to the future, I have two hopes. First, that the Grand Lodge will grow in stature in the coming years with dedicated brethren united in brotherly love, providing relief to the needy and acting truthfully at all times. What is more important to me is dedicated brethren united in brotherly love and also acting truthfully. We all know from the inception of Ground Lodge up to this time, I've had Okutra Sio speaking, I've had my grandmaster speaking, I have the past grandmaster sitting by me. There has been some turmoils, health deals and all those things. I think the scramble to be the grandmaster is also destroying the Grand Lodge. We have to be very clear and I believe strongly that there must be a system where if we groom our leaders, whoever we are looking up to, it will be more smooth sailing, it will be more appropriate, and we all rally around the Grand Master to lead the Lord. No one can deny the fact that during his term, there has been some misgivings. The meetings, I'm told in Accra, people don't attend. I am told people refuse to go. It is not his person. It is not his person. It is not Okucha's person. It is the Grand Lord that we are talking about. And therefore, let us straighten it up now. Let's use this occasion as you celebrate with me 25 years of my Freemasonry and 25 years as a Santini to come together as brothers again and then march forward. That's why I quoted this that we have to brotherly love, not providing relief to the needy, I know, but acting truthfully to ourselves and believing the vows that we, we committed to belong to this craft, to belong to Grand Lord, is what we mean really to profess. I am straightforward to a point, so people don't maybe appreciate it, but I am always honest and straight to the point. I don't, I don't hide things at all. I don't pretend. 
I always want things to be straight to the point. What I hate is people sitting down as brothers and yet harboring things within them. <laughs> Laughing with people when they don't mean it. That is not the Lord. That is not the craft. Let us face reality here. And let us belong as brothers so we can build this grand Lord together. So, I thank you. I thank Grand Lord for this opportunity, for the love you've shown to me as your grand patron, celebrating me 25 years as a San 25 years as a Mason. And I believe strongly that we shall soldier on. But let's be truthful to ourselves that we want but let's be truthful to ourselves that we want, we're born together as brothers and therefore we follow the rules and regulations of the craft so that we can move on. So next time, tomorrow, when we meet like this, genuinely, we'll be meeting as brothers. I thank you very much. Thank you.